T gun. So he feels a lot safer, and yeah, no, he's not. He's gonna try to focus the rifle squads. So, uh, this two rifle squads getting flanked, coming up from all sides. Uh, grenades going off. However, there's reinforcements coming from chains uh, f with the flamethrower upgrade, burning alive that squ uh, grenadier squad, forcing him to retreat. And the engagement has now moved slightly to the south. And it looks like Chin should be able to come out of here with his engineer squads and bars just ripping it apart. It's just not enough. And manages to come out on top of that flame. Planes. Chains now floating uh, 500 manpower, so he could be building another tank, perhaps calling an airborne. He does build something, I'm not sure what it was. He called him. He built something, I'm not sure that that Panzer is so low on health, though. He needs to back it up right now. No Pioneer squads are in the vicinity to repair it, and he realizes that. And now here he goes, he's trying to bring it back. The Engineer squads are not close enough yet they are starting to burn these squads he needs to cover this rifle squad however chains not getting oh, getting over greedy there does retreat and unable to kill that panzer this man just pushed it back slightly uh, a little bit more and we have supply drops going off in the supply drop somewhere for chains which is going to give him some extra munitions and fuel perhaps for another tank if he decides to or get an M10 I wouldn't go for tanks because Sherman's can't really take on tier 4 head on unless your micro is godly but still it is very hard perhaps an M10 or just go stick to airborne save your airborne uh, save your manpower for airborne and AT guns and that should counter them very well and protect them oh may lose a squad here in the middle no retreats just in time um, as I was saying have your rifle squads protect your airborne and AT guns and you should be able to deal with tanks pretty well we have a strafing run going off and oh pinning all these squads here doing lots of damage and he was forced to retreat turning that fight around definitely a hundred fifty munitions well spent and we do have an M10 out for chains so that's gonna help a micro he may be able to will he be able to no um yes actually as I was saying M10 may be able to just run in here this panzer is still very low on health has a damage engine can't move much most of his squads are here uh, reinforcing only one Shrek squad Really, so if Chains could get lucky, just throw that M10 in near that medic bunker, near that tank, and then take it out. Um, that would be huge, but he doesn't know where it's at. He probably thinks it's in his base, and the M10 is going to go up north, so it's probably not going to get that Panzer anytime soon, as the squads are now coming out for our Vermont player, and it is about uh, halfway repaired. And here he's now coming out. Chains has reclaimed map control for the most part. It's still going back and forth. These players are very even here. This is this, this is definitely not level 10 play. It's a lot higher. We have a mortar out. Um, that's going to help him against uh, this heavy infantry play from Vermont. And the M10 actually going to try to go for this uh, medic bunker. However, the Panzer's there to defend it. It has more than enough health to take on this M10. And M10 is going to have to back out of there, knocking the medic bunker to about one fourth health here in the middle um, motor motor and uh, chains actually has his own MG here however it is getting flanked so kind of reverse rolls here temporarily but there is a lot of squads here to defend that more than enough uh, killing one guy off the MG I uh, may kill this folks around your squad can he do it no he should not should be able to easily win this middle fight easy peasy and burning the crap out of uh, the Vermont player here. And we actually have a flank from the right side. Um, two squads here gonna go in that building. However, if he just brings and they're fighting lots of fighting in the middle as well. Motor going off doing lots of damage. He needs to retreat that grenadier squad. And it does, does not lose any squad so far. However, that MG is key. Uh, holding that middle. Uh, Chains knows this and is trying to take care of these squads on the right side that have the flank on that MG. Not gonna uh, adjust the MG to face the building because that will just give up the middle instantly. However, the Panzer is now full health. The M10 is there to try and counter it. Um, if Chains can get some stickies on there and some good M10 micro, uh, he should be able to take it out. However, it's pretty hard to do. Uh, M Panzer is low on health. Grenade going off. Lots of grenades going off here on the right side. Still, uh, this fight is going off uh, a lot. Kills the Panzer in the middle. M10 uh, retreats now. Uh, did the M10 get that kill? Yes, it did. I believe it was supported by an AT gun. I'm not sure. I'll check for that later. Lots of fighting on the middle. MG is now set up. Going to suppress that motor squad. However, the motor squad should be able to take on this MG as uh, they don't 
the closer you are to the MG, the more damage you take. And a strafing run from Chains, taking the middle, killing off that MG. And that's another free MG for Chains if he decides to take that. And looks like Chains is slowly doing the work, uh, working with this Vermont player as uh, he hasn't been able to have that those key MGs set up as he did early game and hasn't been able to win these fights against his infantry now and Chains uh, has his own mortar squad and MGs which makes it a lot harder for the Vermont player um, I would say I'm not sure uh, if the Vermont player now kinda as I said they have reverse roles now Vermont player doesn't have any MGs Chains has MGs so he needs to do the flanking now um, perhaps get some pioneer squads May maybe not he's pretty good on infantry actually with his uh, double veteran C MG42 on one squad um, perhaps if he can't afford it get a nebel a nebel would be huge um, can counter AT guns since they're not stationary counter his MG's and his mortar squads so any uh, not so stationary squads that would be great they would render this M10 pretty much useless if you did the tech switch which is about to die actually it has one veterancy from killing that panzer and would render the AT guns useless so if he went to heavy infantry which will counter his chains infantry head on and then his AT guns and his tanks like that will be useless including his airborne because airborne's not that great against infantry so I'm not sure if you can afford that I'm not following him but that's just uh, what I would do however I don't see any tech switches yet and it looks like he's going to stick with this and move on the left side that uh, stormtrooper squad that is camoed is going to try to give him some intel where his units are, where is his MG set up the mortar are doing its thing so uh, keeping the Vermont player on his toes to constantly you gotta keep moving your squad so they don't get hit by that and we have an engagement here on the left side as the Vermont player is trying to capture some more map control on the left side Chains realize this, uh, just uh, two rifle squads don't want to overdo it as uh, he could always go somewhere else and he has his two MGs here just in case to whoops hold on to the middle and looks like Chains needs to throw, throw some more of his army here onto the left side he does have a mortar supporting him here, two squads are closely together actually two and two are close together so if a mortar lands anywhere near these squads it's going to do lots of damage and getting very close and not be able to do too much damage yet two Volkswagen squads taking care of one rifle squad however Chains um, I think he came out of there is coming out of there pretty well as he's taking he's holding them back with less squads not having to move his MG's at all only using a few rifle squads and that mortar squad that is protected by this hedgerow so that's a great placement great spot for that mortar and the M10 is now full on health not going to do too much against squads. It's, that's not its role. It's not going to kill too much infantry. It, it will be annoying though and it could provide some intel just like running in through the squads or whatnot or blocking, path blocking and stuff like that. Engineer squad getting a little caught out of place there. However, a quick retreat. Uh, chain should be able to uh, readjust his MGs and he does. He does. I didn't realize he did adjust one MG here other MG protecting the flank uh, may lose an M10 here it won't be huge but you don't want to lose any any units at all in company of heroes as you never know he might pump out another tank and whatnot and you'll be wishing you have the M10 and he does manage to push him back these MGs are holding the line for him really and we have I thought that was artillery green smoke green smoke is good and we have some more supply drops and he's just got so much resources so many squads so he's in a really good position here uh, that quick reaction time being able to retreat all his squads and that all builds up over time as the game continues and now he has lots of squads lots of uh, resources 120 munitions and floating over 300 fuel so whenever he wants to use that he can and we have what is this a tiger out for uh, Vermont player how did he get damaged it has like half health and I see craters in here I don't know if this was like mine's place earlier that I did not realize that however he has a tiger out I don't think that's a great choice in my opinion because airborne uh, he has AT guns out and he has stickies uh, the tank will soak up a lot of damage so if I guess if the Tiger can uh, annoy the annoy these rifle squads and allow his Volks Grenadier squads, his Grenadier squads to take out the riflemen quickly, uh, he may be able to come 
push back here and we have a strafing run not doing too much suppressing one squad here and not uh, gonna allow the Vermont player to win this Mega Bunker is very close to dying here if he can throw his M10 over here quickly and take about maybe two shots he'll take out that medic bunker however the tiger is now on the field chains is aware of this because it was damaged earlier unless uh, Vermont player damaged his own tiger tank which I highly doubt and we have another M10 from chains and here in the middle little engagement um, easily easily uh, pushed back with that MG and now the Tiger gonna uh, reclaim the left side and should allow him to take that plus 16 fuel. I believe Chains still has more than enough to handle Vermont player, but you, we never know here. Uh, two M10s now gonna go go for that Tiger tank perhaps, and the mortar now taking out that medic bunker. Here in the middle, lots of fighting. Apologize for missing it, and looks like Chains, it was just him holding off the Vermont player. Um, and we have grenades out for change which is going to allow him to handle his infantry a lot better uh, it's actually some engineer squads getting picked off quite a bit here he doesn't realize that um, he needs to move those squads back further back however in the left that's where all the fighting was and I, mm, I missed it the M10 was going against this tiger tank taking it out getting du double veterancy so he manages to kill the tiger tank with two M10s very nice play there probably great micro because that's what you need to take out a tiger tank you can't take it head on with m10s and now he realizes the squads in the middle um that were getting picked off by this grenadier squad not doing too much and mg's gonna push him back here in the bottom left uh chain's doing a great job of annoying his vps here uh 451 to 240 so he's just chipping away at this at uh pure lictor the vermont player and throwing a grenade there, doing lots of damage, forcing their tree, and actually manages to decap that. Could have capped the rest of that, however, uh, he probably realizes that there are reinforcements coming out of the Vermont base. Here in the middle, some more fighting. That building is just getting known for chains. Grenade going off. However, a uh, quick reaction there, or uh, just a coincidence, getting out of that building to dodge that grenade and retreat. However, Chain's doing a great job of blocking the pathing here. Trying to do as much damage as he can. Managed to kill an extra guy there. Uh, excuse me. And now uh, forces him back. Another Stormtrooper squad. Double Shrek squad. That's not what you want against uh, two rifle bars. And he realizes that retreats. And we have an M4 coming out for Chains. Which is going to be a great support here. As he's managed to handle any tanks that Vermont player has been able to throw at him and it's going to help him against infantry because he only has one squad here so if you can focus down that one trek squad and then that will allow his tank to just do free reign against these squads and force them to retreat um, and here comes the Sherman keeping his distance always want to keep your distance against trek squads as you know of course accuracy accuracy is less as the further they shoot as it is with real life and the mortar squad gonna pummel this uh, Volksgrandier squad in that building up in the north here and we have triple veterancy from Vermont player that was probably a long time ago I didn't realize it but that's what he needs against um, over time it pays for itself over time to, and to take on all these bar squads However, there's a good mix of units here uh, you tanks MG's motors um, and then of course your regular basic infantry so it's going to be very hard for both players to kind of adjust and counter this, counter that in the middle of the battle as Coming of Heroes is all about micro. So you got a micro very well here and actually catching an MG out of position um, which should should allow a flank here and no he's actually going to back out of that and he does not manage to reclaim the map control. He's going to get very desperate for the Vermont player. He's going to get more greedy because VPs are 451 to 177. Hasn't been able to take that middle VP at all or any flanking as it's a very well placed MG covering the right side. Uh, any right side flanking will be pushed back by that MG unless he hugs the very, very, very far side of the right map, making it harder for the Vermont player to go anywhere or do anything. Grenade going off. Retreats, uh, manages to dodge that and pushing him back once again. And he's really pushing him back with only a few squads here a tank here, two riflemen here, and then the MG squad supported in the back. And look at all this. Was that the Tiger tank that just knocked down this hedgerow and allowed this rival squad to walk in? However, this is too much. He may go for a bombing run here. 250 munitions. Here comes a bombing run. However, all the squads are now moving. They're retreating back. 
And oh, manages to kill one squad there. That was sexy. And Chains, I believe, has is uh, nailed nailed this game. He, I think he's got this game now. It's probably one. However, both play by uh, both great play by both players. Uh, early game, a Vermont player was doing great with his MGs and uh, Chains. He loves his faces. When I talk to him, he's always has like this. Uh, he always has faces in his sentences, and I love that. And Vermont player also replying with a surprise face. See, Chains once again a smiley face, one sticking his tongue out. But that this, he's very a uh, humble guy. You can tell by his shoutcast, and he's helped me with uh, shoutcasting when I first started. So thank you for that, Chains. And it looks like this will be a last, maybe second to last push from our Vermont player going to the left, uh, building up his unit count here and his tiger tank. So this has to be an all in. However, it looks a little premature in my opinion, but decides to engage all these rifle squads here, not waiting for the tiger tank and manages to take this building here. Is there a mortar going off? I think, yes, no, I don't know. And looks like manages to push chains back. Now needs to quickly recap that middle VP or something here as it's 129's VPs or 129 may kill the Sherman no chains will get out of there however he's just pushing the, the pushing it back chains once again using supply drops once again no he may kill this Sherman here very low on health uh, Shrek not doing its thing M10's now coming in and uh, Sherman's was charging into his infantry blocking the path here and just trying to shave that Sherman and now the Tiger is out, however, uh, two M10s and a Sherman. Chains managed to kill one Tiger with two M10s. I'm pretty sure he can do it with two M10s, a Sherman, and two rifle squads flanking this Tiger that should be able to throw some stickies down. And here come the tanks. Kills one M10, however, here's a crap ton of squads. A AT gun getting called in, and here comes the stickies. We're gonna get a damaged engine. Tick, 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 tick. Damaged engine, main gun destroyed on one Sherman. Immobilized may kill one Sherman, and I believe that M10 killed his own Sherman from behind. And this tiger's just a sitting duck now. Um, however, both these things are very low on health, so he might be able to kill one more. Kills another Sherman, so two tigers for one Sherman, and then probably going to kill off this last M10 with the Shrek squad. Mm, no, Shrek uh, M10 gets out of range. VPs are now 451 to 109. Uh, Vermont player, not much he can do in MG. He can't ninja cap this middle VP because there's MG set up there. Um, and now he is stuck in his base trying to reinforce, even taking damage on his Vermont quarters. And Chain's holding him back uh, with his two rifle squads. Um, he couldn't move these squads from his base in, however, this game is pretty close to over. Uh, Vermont player not just reinforcing in his base now may go try to for one more push here probably with no tiger tank support this time however he did manage to kill a lot of the tanks a lot of the Shermans and M10s and chains even capping this southern VP trying to get as much use as he can out of these rifle squads um, actually gonna retreat both of them one squad getting triple veterancy trying to hold them back as long as possible that is now 80 VPs and there are two more rifle squads going to engage these already softened up, uh, no, slightly softened up one squad on the Vermont player. However, it's going to take some time for this for him to take care of these uh, rifle squads. He knows he's trying to desperately throw grenades and get out of my face rifle squads. I want to cap this middle VP. However, a mortar is also landing on these guys and here he goes trying to get in there. Uh, the MG is not set up. Uh, facing the left side, it is still facing the right side. Never does it. He's not even going for VPs, actually. I think he's just. I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, maybe just trying to fight it out, I guess. And, ooh, that mortar taking out a squad there. Mortar has 11 kills. Wow, I didn't realize how much that has done. It has double veterancy. You don't see that too often, as uh, mortars usually get killed off later in the game. And now he finally pushes them back. BPs are 451-37. The NG though has adjusted and now forces all of him, all of his squads to retreat and holds the middle once again by chains. Even that motor doing its thing there and the game is over. Vermont player realizes he lost. 
quits and uh, great game wow that was an awesome game by both players both very high level I've never seen pure lictor I don't know if that's a smurf account if any of you you guys know I'm actually gonna ask chance afterwards but thank you chance for that shoutcast you guys play the beta you do download it through steams so it is rather large however this is probably the last um, huge process company heroes will go for balance so thank you guys and I hope you enjoyed that game as I sure did I'll see you guys next time